This farm has been in uh, the Barber family for uh, 160 years. We are members of the sixth generation, doing our best to not only maintain what we have, but leave it better for hopefully the next six generations after us. After my grandfather passed away, we sold the cows and threw our hat into the vegetable ring. The vegetable business and our retail focus is ever-changing. It's new and different each year. We try and offer new things to our customer who is also ever-changing. We do about 150 acres of mixed vegetables, of which we probably grow 150 different kinds of things. In the 90s, we were investing so much on transplants. We just thought, oh my goodness, we could start doing this ourselves. And we erected two small greenhouses. We started growing bedding plants and flowers. And that created a whole new group of customers for us. And we said, we, we need to figure out how to grow stuff in the winter. <laughs> so we put up uh, our first high tunnel. They've allowed us to extend our season. We get grape tomatoes early in the spring through October. Then we'll reseed winter greens and we'll harvest them all winter long. In order to get a number one potato for our retail, there is culling. That was a lot of potatoes. We always joked about how someday, boy, we should make vodka. We're just about to start our third year. We're growing our own potatoes. We like to leave them in the ground for as long as we can. And that means we're producing from September through June. It's a lot to be good at, but it's also fun to try and be good at so many different things. People are wanting to know who their farmer is. Mm. And it's important for us to let them know about some of the decisions we make when we're choosing how we grow things. What's neat about this plastic is we are not gonna have to pull this and dispose of it. It's gonna biodegrade into the soil, which we feel pretty great about. Pure Catskills is something we've tried to be part of as long as we've known about it. We are in the guide and we're proud to be part of the guide and I think that's a really helpful tool because we have had people come ask for the guides and ask us where their next stop will be. Without that connection it would be hard for people to know where they could have a pick your own opportunity. A tasting room, it lays it all out. I think we see ourselves as some of the lucky people that get to be part of this farm that's been in the family for 160 years and hope that when we pass the torch, we've done a good job. Mm -hmm.